Welcome to Slave Nation on the Beaten Path. Today is Sunday, May 20th, 2018, and I'm here with my co-host, the beautiful Vanilla Swirls, and we've missed her so much! <laughs> here she is! It's a pleasure. We missed you so much! Oh, I miss being here. We missed you so much! <laughs> Okay, just in case you missed it, we really missed you. Oh, oh, oh. I miss you all too. <laughs> okay, so now you know we missed you. But if you have any questions later, just let me know. I'll okay. Do it. Okay. So as you can tell, we're in a good mood today. We're always in a good mood. That's because we have fun. That's right. And there's no place more fun than Slave Nation. True story. On the beaten path. Well, you know what? The Run World Supersedes website's pretty fun, too. Yeah, that's true. With some kinky t-shirts and bumper stickers, which we'll be running that promo later. Yeah, I picked me out a couple t-shirts that I want. Me? Oh, you finally decided? Well, uh, there I'm going through and narrowing it down, because of course I want one of each. Yeah. <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> but then, But then when we get our t-shirts, we have to take the photos. Oh, that's right. Yes. So I'm really, I'm really excited. Although I hope Lou doesn't mind, I might redesign mine a little because it's, you know, it's got the neck T-shirt, and I want to slut it up. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I hope he doesn't get really cranky about that. I don't think he will. So anyway, and we're going to be playing some of of One Rule Supersedes Lou's songs. He sent me two. He's working on a whole album, so that's awesome. Oh wow. Yeah, and his songs are really, really good. I just, I just love them. So then, okay, so, so I'm, I'm going all over the place here. It's been a long time since I've been able to squirrel and biff, and <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna go with it. Um, then the, the tonight we're doing all because you know I had a thing planned for Mother's Day and everyone was out with their mothers and all that other stuff. And of course you, you know, we wish everyone from you know. Slave Nation, The Beaten Path, and, and One Rule Supersedes hopes everyone had a wonderful Mother's Day and they were treated well by their children like they should be. Oh, that's right. Yes. So, remember, they stretched out our vagina. <laughs> <laughs> that, for those of you that don't know, anytime I want something from my son and he's kind of hesitant... All I have to do is say, you stretched out my vagina. And he's like, well, I don't want to hear that, mother. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> so, so there you have it. You guys, I'll share my secret with you. It might work for you. It really helps get what you want. <laughs> your children don't want to hear about your vagina. Why? I don't know. Uh, on Mother's Day, I sent my daughter a thing because she's pregnant now. Has a three-year-old pregnant now and says, "This day's for you because you pushed a human out your hula." <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it! And she's like, "Why would you send me that?" And I'm like, "Why wouldn't I?" I thought it was funny. Okay, our children should know by now. We have lost all dignity and shame. Yep, they should know. We have no boundaries. <laughs> We're just gonna throw it out there, but but always in the most polite way. Of course, yes. Because manners count. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that being said, all the music I had planned was um, female vocalist and, and female bands. So that'll be exciting because there's some good music there. And um, But we're going to, um, we want to state Lou is not a female, but we're, we're throwing that in there. Yes. Okay, so very much, much masculine. You'll be able to pick him out of the herd. Yeah, just like just like all the men of Slave Nation, the Beaten Path, and One Rule Sleeper Seeds, there's no unmasculine men. So we have that. So and then this is so exciting because you know we're doing a women's theme here, and although men can be them too, it's it's mainly women, and we're going to be talking who cows, moo moo who cows. <laughs> yes, a bit. And then we have included, well, okay, we're going to take a break. And then we'll come back and we'll tell you what we're including in the show. 
We'll be back in a couple of minutes. But to start with, I wanted to let everyone know, I spoke with an old childhood friend of mine. And we grew up, and he lived down the block from me. His name's Greg Sines. And he's in a band called Excel. And he has a lovely wife named Ellie Sines. Allie. A-L-I. Sines. And she's in a girl band called the After Lashes. Hmm. So, you know, I spoke to him, and uh, I, jeez, um, I haven't spoken to him for years, but, I mean, we grew up, I've known him since, since I was, like, three, and then we went, you know, all through elementary, junior high, high school, and then we'd bump into each other every now and then here and there. So, but this is what they do for a living, is they make music and stuff, and it's it's really good. So, um, I talked to him, and he said, yeah, play some of my music, play some of my music, you know. That's great. So, and you're just going to love it because, like sex, her music is harder, louder, and faster. <laughs> Although sometimes we do like it a little gentle. But, you know, we like variety. Yep. But you're just, you're going you're gonna to love it. And, you know, I, I always like the, the punky stuff, the metal-y stuff, the hard rock em out stuff and... So I, th- I think you're going to like it. So we're going to go with her song first. And it's, um, let me find what the name It's After Lashes, We the Sheepo. And this is her demo. And then we're going to go ahead and play you some Joan Jett and the Black Hearts Cherry Bomb. And we'll be back. And then we're going to finish telling you what else we're going to talk about. Ooh, Ooh, cliffhanger. I know it's a cliffhanger. I know it, but... It makes life exciting, the anticipation. And we'll be back. And we are back. Oh, did I do it? I sure did. <laughs> Got a little echo there, but we're back with Slave Nation. And now I know you're all sitting there with your anticipation. You can't, you're dying to know what else are we going to talk about it. So the other thing we are going to touch on is. You men love them. In fact, you love them so much, you've come up with quite a few names for them. And we're going to read some of them off because we never knew you men could be, well, we knew you could be creative. But we didn't know you spent so much time being creative about breasts. That's true. All the cute little names you've come up with. It's quite amazing. And and I, and I I listened to I read them of course and okay, well it's on un, ed uncovered dot com and it's fifty great names for breast. And some of them we're gonna read and some of them are not because there's several categories and one of them's in Spanish. And um our Espanol is no bueno. This is true. <laughs> So, and I have enough trouble with English. That's right. Although we can order in a Mexican restaurant, and we are very good, as you all know, who, since you've listened into our other shows, at drinking tequila. Yes. Yes, we um, excel in that. <laughs> many, one of our many talents, drinking yes. tequila. Not much for some. Gold star on our chart. Yes, 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 yes. Or a new tiara. Mm. Mm, yes. Okay. So here we are. Names for breasts. And some of these I just, I don't get. Do, do you have yours up? Yeah, I don't. The first one I don't get. I, I don't get it either. But we're going to share this baby with you. Brad Pitts. I'm not. I'm, I'm not sure where that comes from. I, I don't get it either. Um, Maybe some of you, some women out there have some beards or something on their boobies? Maybe. Couldn't know. I mean, it happens. I have no idea. Because he did go through that hairy face phase. I don't know. I don't keep up with him. Well, it was all over the news when he was splitting with... I mean, you could... This was this was when I actually saw, you know, had turned on the television and would get a brief glimpse here or there of mm-hmm. some news. And why Angelina and... Jennifer Aniston and him are news. I couldn't tell you. I mean, who cares? Not me. <clears throat> me either. Then we have um, Brad's. Clearly, you guys like the name Brad. Yeah. 
not which is an, odd. I don't know why you name your boobs after men, but hey. Whatever, whatever, whatever. floats you. Yep. Okay, so then we also have, I get this one. Bikini stuffers. Yeah, that one makes sense. Yes, and, and for those of you men that don't know, it is hard getting your boobies in a bikini. Yep, yeah, over flowage and nipple hanging and all kinds of stuff. And you got to get them just, well, and not only that, for you guys that don't know, like you got to lift them and, you know, really play with them. And, and, you know, Swirls here just brought up the nipple issue. You've got to make sure your nipples are equal. Because no one likes a higher nipple and lower nipple. Although it could be a fetish. Who knows? It could be. Yeah, there's there's quite a few fetishes for everything. Okay, so we have bikini stuffers. You want to go on with the other one? Airbags. Yeah, that's... Um, yeah. Yeah. You go. Muchachas. <laughs> I just, I, which should be in the Spanish section. Yeah. I, I don't know how that one... Um, that's because that's a multilingual. Everybody knows muchachas. Muchachas. Okay, and we have some Bonnie and Clyde. Hmm, dairy pillows. I get the dairy pillows, and that is very fitting for today's topic. Yes, it is. Famous restaurant. Hooters. Knockers. <laughs> Okay, this one I'm not getting. Norks. <laughs> I think that's what they call them on Ork. Oh, from Mork. I yes. get it. <laughs> Mork from Ork Ork. calls them Norks. Ork. Makes perfect sense. Yes. Duds. I, I'm i not getting that. Um, I got duds. I don't think you have I got duds. duds, and the next one is duddies. That's me. Okay. I got little tiny boobs. And now gravity has taken over, and my nipples always know what my feet are doing. <laughs> okay, but you got some amazing nipples. Yeah, but they're pointed down south. Okay, my mine are going down south too. But I blame this not being attractive going down south thing on men. And why I blame it on them is because if the bra wasn't invented. Everybody would have saggy boobs. Everybody would have sag, and it it would be like, oh man, did you see the sag on her? And man, look at her sway! Oh wow, to her knees, she is so hot. Sorry, but no, no, you had to invent the bra. Thank you. Yeah, we appreciate that. Okay, so, you know what, I think when we buy bras, we should actually get credit towards plastic surgery to put the babies back where they belong. Ooh, that'd be yeah. good. Yeah. Because I don't even be big and huge and luscious. I'd be a lot to carry around, but just, you know, I get just those want bird perches back up where they're supposed to be. Exactly. Just move those babies. Okay, so then we have jugs. 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 I definitely don't have jugs. I and I don't. I might have a glug. <laughs> a cup of tea. Yes. <laughs> I don't have. I don't have jugs either. Globes. Melons. Baps. What I, am, I don't know I'm, what that is. I have. Okay. Then we have, and 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 the reason I love this page so much, is that. The titles of them, like we just we just had the um, names for breast, and now we have immature names for breast: boobies, chihuahuas, titties. Oh, I did the chihuahuas too long. And this is my favorite. This is I swear this is my favorite because it always makes me think of um, Encino Man. Yeah, gazongas, <laughs> <laughs> gazongas, chichis. Yes. Then we have girly names for breast. Just boobs. Boobs. Yeah, I mean, that's... I think most women are just... Yeah, my boobs, my boobs. Scottish names. Chebs? Chebs. Hmm. If you're Scottish, explain to us what a cheb is. Oh. What's a boob? We'll have to ask Kempy where the cheb oh, comes yeah. from. Okay, and then we have words you can use in the bedroom. Tits. Yes. 
Okay, and then we have names for big breasts. Zeppelins. Lewinsky's. I don't get that. I don't know. I don't think she had big boobs, did she? Oh, I thought it was after that um, hockey player. Or is well, that making... makes you think of Monica Lewinsky. Yeah. Well, okay. We'll go on to the other big. Either boobies. way, it makes no sense. It doesn't make any sense. Speaking of good years, <laughs> sweater stretchers, traffic stoppers, wife material. Oh, that's nice. I'm not wife material. I don't have no big boobies. Maybe that's why no one's ever asked. Well, I've been asked to be married, but um, so I guess I can't complain on that. Um, I guess I should have said yes. Eventually, I will get married. And I get to be her maid of honor in chartreuse. Pray yes. for me. <laughs> it's not a pretty color. <laughs> it's stunning. For those of you men that don't understand chartreuse, it's like this limey, yellow, green, bright. Okay, it just makes the bride look better. <laughs> okay. okay, speed bumps, because they'll slow you down as you're traveling south. That's nice. And names for small breasts. Oh, yay. I have bee stings. Okay, I love bees. I do love bees. This is true. Cupcakes. <laughs> Fried eggs. <laughs> Mole hills. Go on. That one's oh, yours. Yeah, that one's mine. Tatitas? Did I sure. Say right? I'm not sure. We, let's go back to bee stings. <laughs> Yeah. And, and I don't get this. JB. J, well, it has to stand for something. Just boob? Maybe. Well, I'm not sure. Okay, then we have cute names for your breasts. Snuggle pups. Oh, do we have anyone out there that wants our snuggle pups? We should not say that. We'll yeah, be, don't say yeah. that. Never mind. Please, please don't say that. Disclaimer. We, we, we don't want our snuggle pups all spread around. Yeah. <laughs> um... Names for pointy breasts. Nose cones. <laughs> nice. And this one, I like this. This. Okay, and we're going to take a quick break because there's so many more and we want you to just really take them all in. And we're going to go to a song and it's In This Moment, Blood, and then Dorothy is Raising Hell. And we'll be back in a couple minutes. And we're back on Slave Nation, letting you know everything there is to know about breast. Boobs. Their names, boobs, and then we're going to get on to our who cows. But before we start any of that, we, um, you know, we weren't sure what we were going to do for our next prize. So Swirls and I discussed it, and... You know, a while back we had a Christmas basket we did. It wasn't really a basket. It was just a box of stuff that showed up at the door. But um, So this, this we thought, oh, July, Christmas in July. But last, last time we did this kind, we ran it for about three months. Yes. So we could get, everyone would have a chance to enter our contest. It, it's not brain surgery to enter. You don't have to know anything. All you have to do is email us at slavenationradio at gmail.com Tell us what you like about the show, because we like our egos fluffed, and you're entered to win. So, what we were, you want to tell them what we decided on the prize? We decided that our, it's a goodie basket slash box. Yes. <laughs> and it's going to be various things. You could get a butt plug, you could get a crop. You could get some Play-Doh, some yeah. bubbles. <laughs> yeah. It's it's going to be all fun toys that you can use. It's just, it's going to be a good time. Um, our last one, what did we do in our last box? I think there was a butt plug and nipple clamps and there was a ball gag and... Fishnet stockings and lots of condoms. Yeah, lots of condoms because... Yeah, because you know I'm kidding about the Play-Doh and the bubbles. Yeah, although Play-Doh and bubbles are fun. That is true. Yeah. So, I mean, you can tie up your slave and make her blow bubbles. Out her butt. <laughs> Why not? So, we want everyone to enter our contest. We already have several entries. Yes. And you're allowed to enter once per show. 
And some of our listeners listen off YouTube because it doesn't really go well with their schedule. And we had discussed this, and, and we have changed the rules. As long as you listen to the show, if you listen to the show on YouTube, YouTube listeners, we love you too. And we, we thought, it's not fair, you know, you're supporting our show, and we really appreciate it. So if you listen to our show, you too can enter once per show. Tell us what you liked about that show. You know, I say I listened to it on YouTube, and this is what I liked. And you're entered to win the drawing. Yes, and the drawing will be <clears throat> the 5th of August. Yes, so you have plenty of time to... And, and you don't have to listen to it in the same week. So let's say you have listened to this show, but you listen to it in July. You're still eligible to enter, because we want to give everyone a fair chance. Because we appreciate the support y'all give us at Slave Nation, Beaten Path, and Run Rule Supersedes. Couldn't do it without you. Yep. Okay, so that being said, we're getting back to boobies. These are names for lactating breasts. Yes, which goes along very well with our hoo cow. Milk ducks. Ooh. Udders. <laughs> Double lattes. I love that one. I, like I think that's so cute. Um, lactoids. Bitty nozzles. <laughs> Baby feeders. Lacheras. 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 Doesn't really roll off the tongue, but, you know, hey. I think they get it from the La Leche group. Maybe. So... We're not even going to go with the Spanish names because... And, and there's muchachas again. Well, they got mamas. Yes. Lolas. Um, pomelos. At, we can't pronounce them. We can't. So, breast names no one uses but should. Shame on you all for not using them. Flesh bulbs. Chitty Bang Bangs. Fuel Stations. L1s and L2s. I don't get it. Do you? It's a video game thing. Oh. On the control, there's L1 and L2. Oh, okay. Now it makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Be gentle or not. And breaking... And I, just, I thought this was hysterical. Breaking bad names for breasts. Breaking Bad, like the TV show? Like the TV show. Do you know they have Breaking Bad action figures? Really? Yes. Because every good parent should get their child a Breaking Bad action figure. And while you're at it, get them the chemistry lab set so they can make their own math. Hmm. <laughs> no mess starter kit? Yeah. I see something under the Christmas tree. <laughs> Other than Crisco? Yep, it can sit next to the Crisco. Awesome. Okay, so our breaking bad names for breast are... Heisenberg's. Saul Goodman's. Walt Jr.'s. Pinkman's. Woohoo! And that concludes our booby names. We hope you've enjoyed them as much as we did. Okay, I have a question. Do you have a name for your boobs? Boobs. Just boobs? Boobs. No, I'm not that creative. Mine's lefty and righty. But I have a favorite boob. Oh, I do too. Which one is it? My left. <gasps> Me too. Okay, why is your left your favorite? I don't know. It's my first favorite boob. It seems like it's a little bit bigger than the right one. Oh, see? My left one is my favorite because, you know, during my crazy period, I got that tattoo. Oh, yeah. And for everyone that knows... um, I'm not really fond of tattoos. My friend over here just adores them. I am a pain slut. I like yeah. my ink. She loves her ink. and But, okay, for someone who doesn't like tattoos, and, I mean, I really don't like tattoos. I've, I've talked several of my friends out of getting them. You got, okay. a, you got a, a big in. Not only did I get a big in, I got two big ins. Yeah. <laughs> I think your other one is bigger. Yeah, it is. But that's that's a topic for another day. Yep. Okay, so... Um, so you like your left boob better because it doesn't have a tattoo on it. Yes, I do. My left boob has a tattoo of my husband's name on it, which yep. I didn't realize until just now. 
<laughs> See, she's 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 like um, the old lady in the shoe. So many tattoos, she doesn't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> so that's um. Um. So okay, we're gonna go on, and we're gonna talk about the who cow, right? I think that's what we have coming up next, and. Yes, so we're going on, and we're going to um, talk about the who cow, and um, I really started digging further into this. As, okay, we're going to go to a song while this guy revs up his engine. Yeah, our neighbors is said to be speed racer. Yes, and we'll be right back, and we're just going to we're just going to hit one song, and then we'll be back, and we're going to um, missing person. I like boys. Oh, I like boys too. Me too. So we'll be back in just a moment. And we're back on Slave Nation. And I would like to say that I got all tough guy on the neighbor and socked him one and told him to shut his little engine down. But in all actuality, I just shut the window so he could probably still hear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we would like to get tough guy on him. Yeah, he spends about 45 minutes a day just sitting in his truck revving up the engine. Because he's cool like that. I wish I was cool like that. Now, for I'm I'm sure you all know out there what who cow stands for, but as usual, okay, I did not. There's been many things I didn't know said for a lot of things. <laughs> I just thought it was oh, it's a who cow, it's a who cow, but it stands for human cow. That makes perfect sense. It, it, abs it absolutely does, and um, so it has, you know, human cow. I mean, it took me a long time, and I I always thought that um, the who cow was just for women. But it's for men, too. Yes, which we'll probably get into the men thing later on, because we kind of directed this towards the women, but you can... The way they do it is they milk the men, their penis, whatever. And we're going to get into that because, from what I understand, there's several ways you can milk men. But that's another show, another day. and um, we'll Another get, topic. Another topic, yeah. because and, and, and they use them for, like, a breeding fantasy. But that's... that's a what whole other thing. A whole other thing. And that's what we're going to be discussing on another day. So, on these women who cows... The women who cows are, um, they like to, they, the, they're, you're wondering why, why, you know, um, it's a, it's a fetish. You know, I start digging further, further, a who cow is a human cow. It's a fetish and it has so many facets to it. I was just, I mean, we'll probably end up doing another show later down the road on it as we learn more because it's, it's so vast and it's so, so much information, but there's, um, it can be animal play, of course, you know, like a cow, moo moo, and you can dress them up with a little butt plug tail of a cow and put little cow ears, ears on them. Yes, yeah, so, I mean, there's, it's a fetish, and then there's, there's the lactation part that people like, you know, because they, and we're, we're going to discuss how you induce the lactation when you're not pregnant, which... And I just found out another thing I didn't know, a little piece of trivia information for you. Virgin cows can give milk. Hmm. Well, you just got to prime their pump first? It's, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. It's a process. It's a process. But also, virgin women can also do it too. And they, apparently they did it for the, um, what, do, what do they call them? Um, the, not milkmaids, the ones that sit in for nursing. Oh, wet nurse? Wet nurse, yes. They use them for wet nurse. So, they also um, is, um, they have the farm play, you know, some of them want to be the farmer, and then you've got your cow, and and all kinds of things. We have the mommy dommies. You know, they have women or male cows. Mm -hmm. um, nannies. Not goats. This is cows. Nanny caretakers. And then, of course, wet nurses is part of the play. So I just found my answer <laughs> in my notes. So, I mean, I was quite surprised that there's so many um, things out there. You know, and male littles, too. Because, you know, they do the mommy dommies and the... 
And the male littles. The, yeah, so I was really, really shocked at that. So, and then that's another thing, another topic for another day too, littles, and who knew there were so many male littles. And um, I guess really kind of crosses over once you hit the lactation. So we're going to go on to that. Then we have, um, I mean, I thought, what a surprise. And a who cow is not gender specific. You, you would think by now. I would not be shocked by these things we come up, come across and find out and when we're doing our research because we, we do put a lot of research in this and we have so much fun doing that as well that um, I wouldn't be shocked anymore. Now with the women, of course, I guess you would call it the farmer dominant wants the woman to lactate and later we're going to touch on how you can do this and and um, sometimes the fetish also includes breeding or a pregnancy fetish. Now, of course, you can't keep, well, you can keep a woman constantly pregnant, but babies are expensive and... Um, That's a good, that can't be good for the mother. It's, it's, it's not good for, well, you know, I, I went to, I um, homeschooled with a lady. She had 15 children. Oh, wow. Yes. So she was... Very stout, hardy stock. She was hardy. She was very thin, though, and very, very in very good shape, hmm. too. Or she looked at it and look, looked it. So that was that was interesting. So now that we've got all this, you know, we, we've talked about how you know the different forms and different people that are doing it, and what you know what takes place a little. We're gonna come back, and we're gonna we're gonna go to a break, and then we're gonna let you know how to get someone lactating if they are not pregnant already. Which was a little piece of science. A little is, biology lesson that we learned. Yeah, it was it was quite interesting. So before we go there, I want to remind everyone, enter a contest, slave nation radio at gmail dot com. We will be it's we're going we're doing a bigger contest, that's why we're stretching it out because we pay for this all out of our pockets. And then, um, since we're doing a bigger giveaway, it's going to be, you know, box of goodies. We have a longer period of time we're doing it. I so love shopping for the goodies, too. Oh, yes. It's a lot of fun. And, you know, you know we give some of the, the, what do you call, homemade do-it-yourself goodies, and we do the actual BDSM goodies and just a variety of stuff. It's a good time. It is a good time. For and plus, who doesn't want a surprise in the mail? Oh, and the box is, it doesn't say, like, I'm a big slut pervert kink person. Here's all my kinky little items in here. It's discreet. <laughs> Unless you want it to say, I'm a big kinky pervert. Yeah. Because <laughs> you have a thing for the mailman. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so, so while we're on break... Send your mail to slavenationradio at gmail.com and let us know what you like about the show. And we'll be back in a few minutes. And this time we are going to have, in this moment, whore. And then we're going to have our promo because One Rule Supersedes is giving away the free bumper stickers. And, you know, they sell the t-shirts like the bumper stickers, but they're really cool because they say, like, beg me, ask me, spank me. You know, pay me, worship me, and it's just really. Which one did you get? My bumper. My, hmm? Yes. My bumper sticker Your, says "Love me." Yes, and mine says "Follow me." Yes. So we already got our bumper stickers, and then um, of course, Lou sent me some extras to give away when we go to our little events. Events. Okay, so I've flapped my jaws enough. We're going to go to to a break. You can enter the contest. And I'll be right back. And I hope you're all enjoying the show and our flapping of jaws. <laughs> OneRuleSupersedes.com is proud to announce that they are streaming Beaten Path Radio on their website. And to celebrate, the website is giving away free bumper stickers. That's right, bumper stickers for free. There's a variety of sayings that you can choose from. To get yours, go to OneRuleSupersedes.com forward slash me for free and click on the bumper sticker that you want and then use the coupon code me for free that's me the number four and free 
at the checkout, and they will send it to you absolutely free. No tax, no shipping, no gimmicks, and no excuses for not getting yours today. There's a limit of one per person, and you have to be 18 years or older. And while you're there, check out their selection of t-shirts that they have on sale. And it's all right here at https forward slash forward slash one rule supersedes. That's the number one rule supersedes dot com forward slash me for free. Again, that's me number four free forward slash. Get yours today. Welcome back to Slave Nation on the beaten path. And now, oh, we, we got some very good information. We understand the Brad Pitts thing now. You want to explain it? No, because I forgot it already. Oh, okay. Well, of course, Austin 7, thank you for always tuning in and being here for us and a wealth of information. That was a kiss blown to you. Brad Pitts is rhyming slang for tits. Uh -huh. See, we learned so much from our listening guest friends. Audience. Yes, all the people we love. Okay, so now back to lactation. You want to know how lactation and what you need. You're probably wanting to know what you need to make someone lactate if they are not pregnant. There are a few ways, but first, the most important things you need, what is needed for the woman to lactate, are breasts. Brad Pitts. <laughs> Brad Pitts, yes. You need some Brad Pitts. And a working functional pituitary gland that produces the hormones needed for breastfeeding. You can use both medi medications and stimulation techniques to get you going. Now, there's medications you take, but there are also herbal supplements. 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 Yes, herbal supplements. So, well, I'd like to just throw out there that you shouldn't take any medication or herbal supplements without the okay from your doctor. Yes, because they, well, and we were going to get to this later, but we'll do it now. Um, herbal supplements and medications can interfere with other medications you are on. Yes. And it's not just, um, they can make them not work or they can interact with them and give you an allergic reaction or another medical problem. <laughs> so always be cautious. Yes. I mean, really, really cautious. Well, one of the things, you know, I notified my doctors because everyone here knows how I biff it and squirrel and my memory is not what it should be and I'm here and there and you know, all the listeners that listen know this. I called my doctor because wandering biker, another friend, listener, told me, well, why don't you try the ginkgo, jaboba, whatever it is, you know, the ones people use for memory. I said, okay, well, and I rode off to the pharmacist and my doctor, and it wasn't a half hour until they were contacting me, don't take that, don't take that, don't take that. Because it would interact with the other medications? Yes, and mm -hmm. it, would, it would make them less effective, but it would also make me sick. See, I need to listen to our own advice because I just take whatever. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, you, I mean, really, you have to be careful with the medications. Yeah. I take a lot of medication. Yeah, we both do. It's okay. We're keeping the pharmaceutical companies in business. Yes. We're the reason why they keep coming up with new stuff. <laughs> <laughs> if they make it, we take it. <laughs> So, okay, that means, <laughs> oh my gosh, so silly, silly girl. Women who choose to use the medication do what is known as a hormonal preparation. They will often use a combination of birth control pills. Now, see, that's another thing, is not every woman can take birth control pills because it affects their body badly. I, because I have migraines. Mm -hmm. I never took birth control pills. Really? Yes. I went with the I IUD. Which? I went for sterilization. <laughs> well, they wouldn't give me sterilization. They said that I was too young. 
Yeah, they tried to tell me that crap too. Yeah. But I wouldn't leave them alone until they did it. Yeah, well, I was just, I mean, it's like, I knew I didn't, okay, I never really wanted to have children to begin with. I'm not the mother type. Okay, I love my son. He's hysterical. We get along great. You know, he keeps me laughing. I mean, he's he, a blessing. He is a blessing. He's like one of the funniest people I know. Oh my gosh, that kid is just a riot. But I'm still not the world's greatest mother. So, but on the plus side, he says I'm not in the top 10 of the world's worst mothers. Oh, so. there you go. You're not Joan Crawford kind of bad, huh? Yeah. I let him use the wire coat hangers. <laughs> They're now collectible. <laughs> okay, so that being said. Um, you use a combination of birth control pills and. Galactic gogs. We, do, we can't even pronounce it, but it's, it's um, spelled G-A-L-A-C-T-A-G-O-U-G-U-E-S. Yeah, send us a word that's long, and we'll butcher it. Yes, also known as drugs used to increase milk supply. <laughs> there we go. We helped you out there. So, <laughs> it tricks the body into a pregnancy-like state, and then followed by stopping medications, and you begin to pump as a way to stimulate the hormonal conditions of giving birth. And then that will help you... Practice. Yes, and, and the longer a woman has to do a hormonal prep, often means the more successful she may be produce, may be at producing a full milk supply. But remember that any milk is often better than none. So not everyone will get you know mass production, but they'll get. You should be able to get some, and and even if you get small amounts to begin with. You should be able to increase that over time with, you know, the more you stimulate, you get yourself a breast pump and all that good stuff. Now, I do know some people use, um, and we're going to get into this later, goat milkers. Like in the like milking machines. Oh. Which, personally, I would recommend against because, you know, you have soft tissue in your breast. It's. I mean, okay, the breast can take a lot. We all know that from fet life and playing and, you know, bondage, you know, breast bondage and, you know, caning the breast and all this other stuff. But um, pulling and tugging to such a degree on a constant basis is likely to do a bit of damage. Yeah. So just be careful there. Do your homework. Don't just suck on that milking machine and expect something to drip <laughs> so so um, and then you can produce you know produce some milk and um, some of the most well-known protocols for these types of things to exist on this I found um, a website which is the work of dr. Jack Newman and Lenor Goldfarb you could look them up and they they discussed getting um, milking going so um, and some women okay may not choose to use a hormonal medication or may not be able to and instead rely on pumping and the other thing gallicos um, we're just going to call it the G drug to help stimulate milk production. These women may not produce as much milk, but they are able to reap the emotional benefits of breastfeeding. So, um, and so when we say breastfeeding, you know, we're not talking about the babies, but you know, the, all the information we found on how to produce the milk and stuff was on the internet. Primarily aimed at, at mothers that baby. wanted to breastfeed because you also had, um, people that mothers that were adopting children and they wanted that bond with the child of nursing yes. and you know it's always healthier for the baby to get some breast milk other than none right. so now and he here we go 
It is important that any woman who plans to induce lactation talks to her doctor. Um, a lactation consultant should also be involved. I didn't even know they had lactation consultants. Well, I, I knew that um, recently. Well, not recently. A couple years ago when my daughter had um, twins. And she was having a problem producing enough milk for both of them. Oh, okay. So she had to talk to the lactation consultant. Yeah, well, see, this would have been good to know because I was a young mother when I had Charles. And I did breastfeed for three weeks. Then I had enough. That's a long time, man. I didn't even breastfeed that long. Yeah. It's like, get off. Well, and they say any any breast milk is better than none for, you know, the child's immune system and stuff. But we're way off topic here. You don't know, want to know about birth and no babies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> so you want to consult your doctor, a lactation specialist um, should be involved in... in I mean, you can try first, but absolutely consult your doctor. Um, this will allow for appropriate counseling and screening and the setting of realistic goals. And so we really recommend you do that. We're going to go to a break. This will give you a chance to enter our contest, fluff our egos. You can go use the restroom, get a drink. And then we'll be right back. And we got more music. This time we have um, Pretty Reckless, Heaven Knows, um, L Kings, X and O's. And we're going to also do the Go-Go's. Our lips are sealed. And we'll be back. Welcome back to Slave Nation and another good biff. <laughs> that song's for the next break. <laughs> <laughs> so that was a, a little teaser. Um, okay, so there we go with all that. Um, okay, we're going to drift off from our who cow milking lactation stuff, and oh, we're going to go with oh, I should I forgot our freak magnet song. Well, we'll play it next time. Everyone knows we're freak magnets. So, we're going to go to our favorite segment, Mail Call. And I, oh my gosh, I have been getting some really mean, aggressive, hostile <laughs> people. <laughs> yes. I don't get any people. Nobody ever emails me. Nobody ever messages me. Oh my gosh. So, well, you got the email pulled up? Email file? Yeah, we're going from the bottom to the top. Yeah, we'll start at the bottom. We'll start at the bottom. Okay. From Mistress Stacy. For you. Yeah, I was I'm getting to that part. Uh, I had to uh, swallow. Oh. <laughs> oh now you got everyone all turned on. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Mistress Stacy for you. And that's Stacy S T A C I. And one S oh yeah, one S in Mistress. M-I-S-T-R-E-S-S, -S, capital S, T-A-C-I, for you. Yes. And she says, <clears throat> on the sweet. 13th of May, she so lovingly says, I hope I don't end up <laughs> like you. I see you've discovered Ginger, too. <laughs> I don't know what, maybe she just really does not like Ginger. Maybe. I'm not sure. Maybe she's a YouTube listener. Listen to our ginger for uh, we reviewed. Well, I have the ginger photo on Collar Space too. Ah, yeah. So your ginger gun. The ginger gun. <laughs> so, yes. Yeah, then I got perverse desire. Perverse desire. Oh, sorry. Perverse desire sent me a, a lovely one. Hey, dirty girl. Found someone to use you like a good little fuck toy yet? Have you? Um, I, I have I have not. But maybe if I took a shower. Maybe. The flies do kind of turn people <laughs> off. But he does like a dirty girl. But this is a good one, too. Yes. Yeah. Sissy Taboo Slut <laughs> says, Could you teach me to be a come-hungry, cock-loving slut? I have a feeling 
He already is. Yeah, very good possibility. And just wanted someone to know about it. Oh, and I just got this one this morning. This is this is. <laughs> yeah, Halter one H A L T E R the number one. Yes. Hi, I'm looking for a sub toilet pig. Is that your place? <laughs> what the heck is a toilet pig? I don't know. It was like a human pig, but or a human toilet, but you got to wear little ears and one of the little rubber snouts. <laughs> you should bring him back and ask him. See, oh. it might be my place. What is it? Oh yeah, I, could, I I will do that. I will I will write him back. Um, I'll after, keep after, reading. Yeah, after a mail call, we'll go to a commercial, listen to Lou's songs, and then I'll I'll write write him back and see if we can find out what a toilet pig is. Because it might be your place. You you could hear it and be like, oh my god damn. That's what I've been missing my entire life. I am such a toilet pig. <laughs> I don't... I'm not so sure because I, I just... I hear the word toilet in there. And I'm just thinking that that can't be good. Maybe it could be a porcelain swine. <laughs> now, now, you're making it sound yeah, see? very enticing. It's all in the wording. Yes. <laughs> okay Spanky for Spanker 8 yeah. Spanky Spanky for Spanker 8 It just makes you think of the um, Little Rascals yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay yeah. Do you get spanked online? What a retarded question How do you get I, spanked online? Um I guess when you're online, someone comes by and gives you a little spanky spank. Well, that happens to me every day on that game that we play. This guy comes by and just says spank. <laughs> Not the one that's fascinated with my bubble. <laughs> Different that's, guy. That's unfortunate. I sure do miss ten and suck job. <laughs> okay. Osama sub S F O S. A M A S U B B. Okay. You what? Oh, okay. Cause it's um. There's several, several. Mhm. Mm yeah, there's several from him. It says, do you think that cockolding is normal or sickness? I always think it's wrong. Why I became changes few months ago. Am I got sick? This not all. I even tried sex with guys as a bottom, like. Just seven, six, six, or six or seven times in my life, but I always feel I want again and again. I don't know why I changed like this. Sad face. Oh yeah, the sad faces are what really <clears throat> gets it. And then that was on October fourth. Yes. Then he comes back on March thirty first. I really don't know. I think those few times I tried sex with men affected my life, my marriage, not working fine. I started to think, be cuck, and this idea not getting out of my mind months ago. Months, months ago. Months ago. Now, I don't know. Am I sick or what's wrong with me? I'm confused. And then the same day he writes... Well, it's like seven minutes later, he writes, You are a perfect lady. I wish you good luck. Yeah, I told him thank you and the same to you. Yeah. Ignored the whole, I like to have sex with guys six or seven <laughs> times in my life. It's affecting my marriage and my spelling. <laughs> well, I didn't want to egg him on. You know, and then I have to hear more about how he wants to be a cuck and... He needs to work this out in his marriage. Yeah, Not with that's me. True. What's a cuck? It's um a man okay, you have a marriage and like the woman goes out and does her thing and sometimes he cleans her up, sometimes he doesn't, sometimes he watches her get used, sometimes he doesn't. But he's the husband, he does, you know, 
it's often the slave, you know, he takes care of her, but she does her own thing and he gets a little neglected in the sex department. Okay. Of course, there are different, you know... <coughs> categories. Categories and different ways pe different people do it. All right. Things you learn. The more you know. The more you know, the more you... Yeah. So... Okay. Wondrous Poli. It could be. W-O-N-D-R-O-U-S-P-O-L-E-E. -E. I would love to fuck you now, please. Do you want to Skype? Wonderless Pulley, thank you. Yeah. Did you take him up on it? I I I did not. Um I I don't know why. I mean it's charming charming, charming offer. Um, he said thank you. <laughs> he I know, can you imagine the thanks I would have gotten if I would have? This is true. I just... I know. I, I keep letting these g generous offers get away from me. Well, here's this, one. This is this is my absolute favorite, favorite, and I should have written them back, but I didn't. It's from Respect Your Master, with no E. Mm -hmm. It's R-E-S-P-E-C-T. It's, it's short and sweet, this message. Y-O-U-R-M-S-T-R. And this message is, die, cunt. I should have responded. I didn't. Um, I am working on this. I don't know when. I don't know how. I'm, I'm not sure. Where. Where. But eventually, respect your master. You will be pleased to know it will happen. I'm sure he'll, he'll be pleased to know that. Yes. Um, I don't know why you get death threats, but, you know, I'm, I can't even get someone to say hi to me. <laughs> Desperate for attention. <laughs> Colorspace.com. That's me. So, eventually, eventually I will die. Just be patient. Okay. Next we have... The Bengal. Send us the long name and we're going to butcher it. That's just it. <laughs> the e Bengali. Oh, see? There you go. And he says, I see this is more of a commercial than a profile. Oi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if I responded to him or not. I don't think I did. Uh, then we have Al King 97. I lead you into the hotel room. As soon as the door closes, I shove you against the wall. Then I run my fingers all over your upper body. Do I find you wearing a bra? He will never know. But for all those that are interested, see, maybe you should have tuned into the show. Right That's now, true. I am not wearing a bra. Neither am I. It's jammy day. Yeah. Someone's only wearing a tank top and panties, but I'm not saying which one of us it is, but it's not me. I, I do love running around in my panties and a shirt. So, okay. And lastly, we have Boatman four eight zero eight zero. Love your girls. Love guys saying, "Oh yeah, you're pretty too." Yeah, he's angry. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I think that's the same guy that told me to die, but just changed his name. Could be. Yeah. You should have told that guy that told you to die. Say, so "You die first. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't I think of these things? I don't know. I gotta help you with your email. Tag your it. Oh, okay. Well, on that note, now we're gonna listen to Lou. Yay! His songs are so awesome. We have She Said and Permission Permission Industrial from Fet Life. And you, you just, just listen, you're gonna you're just gonna go wild. That's really good music. It is. Yes. And okay, it's 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 also I can see using this music to do a scene too. Very true. Okay, and here we go. Welcome back to Slave Nation on the beaten path. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I barely made that without making a mistake. Okay. 
Now, you're now you're probably thinking, why in the world would someone want to milk or lactate or be a who cow? Well, kids we're all a bunch of perverts. That's what we do. Yep. Each of us has our kink and fetish. Oh, before we go there, oops, sorry, scroll, 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 scroll. Back it up. Sorry, okay, yes, 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 yes. So, you were asking about the cuck hold. Mm-hmm. And, of course, Dawson7, thanks Ooh. so much, gives us the answer and explains it much more eloquently than I did. Cuck equals a cuck hold. A man who willingly encourages his wife to sleep with other people because it brings him pleasure. Cuck holds exist on a spectrum between two extremes. One on end is the masochistic cuck hold who enjoys humiliation, degradation, and other demeaning activities at the hands of his wife and her lover. The alpha cuck hold lies at the opposite end of the spectrum and does not enjoy any form of humiliation and often has a direct say in who his wife sleeps with and when. Oh, well, thank you for telling us. Yes. Very informative. Mm -hmm. Always, always gives us the good information. So, um, so we're going to continue with the show. And um, now might be a good time to remember, remind you to enter our contest. It's going to go from now till August fifth. It's going to be a goodie bag box of wondrous surprises. Yes. And you can enter one time per show. Go to slavenationradio at gmail.com. Tell us something that you liked about the show and you're entered to win. Our YouTube listeners are not left out. Just tell us which show you listened to, what you liked about it, and you are entered to win. And it's going to be a fun-filled box of goodies. And I can't wait to go shopping for it. Yes. What? I, I, okay. First tell, what is the one thing you want to put in the box? Ooh, a sounder. I love the sounders. I love them. They're so cute. I, I, you know, I would really like to try the sounding on someone. It just looks like a lot of fun. Because remember that guy at the party? He was, he was, um... He was enjoying himself. Oh, big time. Well, while we're talking about the sounders, you did give one to my friend. Yes, I did. And he has used it. Oh, what And he you? said that he enjoyed it. But he used it on himself. Mm-hmm. So, I kind of think it would be better if somebody else used it on you. Does that make sense? Yes. Somebody else drives the boat. Well, I would think so, too. I mean, because, it, you know, then you get to sit there and relax and just really enjoy it. Yeah, just kind of soak in the whole experience. Yes. But, yeah, he said he was afraid to use it at first, but the longer he sat there and, you know, walked by every day and looked at it, <laughs> the more intriguing it became. Nice. And did but he, he also said that he used lube, which I don't think you're supposed to use lube, are you? Yes, yes, yes. Lube, 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 lube. And then when you think you have enough lube, lube it some more. What kind of lube? Like the... A... I would use a water-based lube. Okay, dokie. Okay. You know, something like, you know, we have our hospital grade lube we have. Yeah, because we're cool like that. Yes. Don't let us in your hospital room because we will steal everything that's not nailed down. <laughs> Just the lube and condoms. <laughs> hey, but they go in the boxes, the giveaway things when we send them out. This is true. <coughs> Excuse me. So okay. we were talking about why you would want to be a hook cow. Yes. So we're gonna um there there's there's really lots of reasons. Of course, of course, you know, like I said, we're all a bunch of kinky perverts that all have our thing going on. And then um of course, just so everyone knows, a pervert is anyone kinkier than you are. Hmm. Yes, so there you are. Um, some, you know, some of the reason are some women want bigger breasts and their partners want them to be bigger. They don't want to do the implants. You know, um, I'm not sure if you know this, but implants, you have to get replaced about every 10 years. 
Pearly. I did not know that. Yeah, you do. They're um, well, you know, they're they're in bags that you put in and with whatever they're using now, silicone, saline, whatever. But you know, it, it still wears. It's in your body and it's. Rubbing against stuff. And yeah, so you, they need to be replaced every 10 years. And what happens, you know, I just think 10 years down the line, oh, my gosh, I need to get them replaced. I need to get them all fixed up and this and that. And what if you end up broke? Yep. And you have to sell everything you own on eBay for boob money. That's right. Which is not always a bad thing. Others do it for an intimate um, bonding experience emulating that of a mother and child um, you know because we have the age play the the littles the mommy dommies and the father daughters or what but that would go with the father daughter so that's yeah that'd be the weird daddy doms or whatever but um and then and some men some men just like the taste of the milk you know they like drinking the milk Yes, they I put know, in their never, coffee, whatever. I never tried it. I've never tried it either. Yeah, you'd think we would have. We had the opportunity. Yeah. Definitely not trying it off anybody else, though. Yeah. Not not it. Oh, man, I don't know if goes me. That's not fair. <laughs> hey. We'll get Taylor to do it. Oh, good idea. Um, So, they also like the, the look of the engorged breast. You know how they get all puffy and yeah. big and... It, it's, a diff, it's a different look. Yeah. I mean, you, you can see there's a different different look. Um, some of them like seeing women suffer. I mean, I've told you this before, that the lactating, the nurse, the breastfeeding, whatever you want to call it, is painful and miserable and perfect for a sadist. This is true. Because ouch, ouch, ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. It hurts so bad. It's one of the most painful things ever. Well, that's the only time in my life I've ever had big boobs. Is after mm -hmm. our daughter was born. Mm -hmm. And I had this luscious rack. And my husband tried to touch it. And I'm like, no, don't touch it. Yeah, because it feels like you have two rocks implanted in your chest. Yeah. And... It was you just kind of walk around with your shoulders back, you know, with this grimace on your face. With the, don't touch it, don't touch it, okay, don't touch and, it. And, and let's not even talk about the humiliation. You're out in the store. Okay, first of all, things were a lot different when we, when we, were, when we had our kids. Because they had the nursing bras, but they were all kind of lumpy. Mm -hmm. And then they had the, these pads you can put in the nursing bras, which gave you more lumps. So you're walking out kind of like a lumpy mess. And then some baby decides to go ah, and cry. And for the men listening, I'm not sure if you know this, but a baby crying will send you dripping. Yep, it, re it releases your milk. Yeah, and so then these pads in this nursing bra, they don't really work all that great. So then you're walking around with two wet spots on your top two lumpy two lumpy boobs and some wet spots yeah and and then especially i think i think now you know like if the well now i wouldn't have a baby but let's say at this age now you know and i'm pregnant and i had the baby and i'm nursing and whatever and i go out and it leaks a little i'm probably just gonna go eh, whatever yeah but when I had Charles, I was 18, and that was just devastating and so humiliating, and I just wanted to die. And I was like, oh, my God, i got to get out of the store quick. And I was just like, eh. You know, you're holding, and you're holding your hands like this, and you're going, ah! <laughs> <laughs> you're in pain, and then you're like, oh, you try, no, I'm all wet. <laughs> Ow, I'm in pain. I'm wet. I'm in pain. <laughs> just... <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, that's a true sadist right there. Yeah, it's it's very humiliating, and, and so it's um, I I just there's so many reasons why, but the biggest reason I found the the what I really found over and over and over again when I looked into this was the bonding. People wanted to to it just created a special bond, some special quality time they could spend together. Yeah, I can see that. Because that's a very intimate thing. It is. 
So it's very personal because you just wouldn't let any person off the street nurse latch on. You. Yeah, and nurse off you. So, and and I I had you know read over and over and over again from you know men the wives had given birth and they they wanted to try and it just brought them really close together. So I you know it was sweet. Yeah, that is sweet. So, and then, um, let's go to a song. Let's go I would to love song. to go to a song. Okay, let's go to a song, because we just, we just heard Lou's song, and it was the Permission Industrial Life, and we just got a, I love that song, I love that song, I love that song. So, but now we're going to Brondi, and then the Pretty Breathless, and we'll be right back. We're back at Slave Nation, giving you more fun info. Okay, so where were we? Okay, Swirls is back. I want to give a shout out to Sweet Green Eyes. Thanks for tuning in. It's always good to have you. Hello, hello. And she's just she's a lovely person. And for you guys, you guys, she's she's a single. Okay, so we we already went over. The reasons why people would want to do this and um for the males um i don't know why the I, I don't understand the male cow thing that's our other topic we get into another day another time now we need to bring up that it's important to milk your who cow regularly make sure she has a breast pump because you can't have like stagnant milk in the breast it needs to be um, expressed. Express. Yes. So make sure you have a breast pump from her when you can't be present. And you also need to watch for problems. Because problems can occur when you are mil breastfeeding, milking, milking, pumping. Yes. There are all kinds of problems that can occur. And we, we look some of them up and... Um, And we look some of them up, and some of them are like a, a milk duct can get... Um, like mastitis, is that what you call that? I think so. It can get clogged. Yes. But, and if you don't fix it, it can be... Um, it can cause fever, it can cause infection, and all kinds of things. And the best way to do this is you put a warm compress on it and try to pull it out. And you just keep the warm compresses. And, you know, you can go to WebMD. They have all the solutions. And you just have to watch for infections. And, and most of these things you, continue, you can continue to nurse during these problems. Another problem is, is thrush, which is a um, fungal infection. Yeah, it, it sounds really bad. Yeah. But you'll notice on there, and again, you know, it's warm complex you go to your doctor they'll give you some ointment and stuff and it's not serious it just happens because you know you have the milk and the moisture and it gets stuck in your bra sometimes and rubs and just creates, causes an, like an infection yeah it, it creates a nice place for fungus to grow yeah so you know and, and these are just they're not really serious problems unless you don't take care of them. So, you know, the, the dominance, this is, you know, part of your responsibility if you're going to have a who cow who is milking for you. You need to make sure that you provide her the right tools, you know, the breast pump for when you're not around, that you milk her regularly, that you, you know, do your part and make sure that her breasts stay healthy during the process. And you should have a happy little moo moo. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make her wear a moo moo though. Yeah, no. Yeah. Don't go that far. Yeah, that's not nice. So that's everything we know about the who cows and the breast and all maintaining your healthy boobs. Yes. So, it's, you know, there's, some of these topics are, are not a lot to talk about, and we gave you a mail call, and 
all that other stuff. So it's it's a pretty short show this evening, but we're coming back next week. And next week what we have on our agenda is we'll give you a little sneak peek is paraphilia. Now paraphilia is a condition a condition because I guess we're crazy. We're crazy. Yeah, we're all considered a little touched. Um, is a condition characterized by abnormal sexual desires, typically typically involving extreme or dangerous activities. And I'm just always wondering, who are these people who decide what is abnormal sexual desires? That's true, because, you know, normal for me could be like, what the hell for you? And I could, it could be the same way. Yeah, and it's just, um, and clearly there are people participating in many of these activities that are being considered abnormal sexual desires. Is there really any abnormal sexual desires? I think there are some. Yeah, one just popped into my head. Yeah, I think. So there are I think, some. I think the morally wrong ones yeah. are abnormal, but um, we're not even going to discuss that because we don't it's not like worth unpleasant our things. Yeah, yeah we, we like funny stuff. Yep. Yes. <laughs> like milk <hall. laughs> <laughs> Oh, so, just go die, cunt. <laughs> be patient. Patience. I should have told, that's what I should have left them was patience. Yeah, it'll yeah. happen. Well, when you drop dead, I'll make one of those chalked outlines around your body and then take mm -hmm. a picture and post it on your fat page. Thank you. That way, people will know it has happened. That's so sweet to you. So sweet of you. So ne next week we will be talking the paraphilia. We hope you all tune in. Remember, enter our contest. Fluff our egos. Yes. Slave Nation Radio at gmail.com. Don't forget, go to Lou's site and get your free bumper sticker, and you can down his, you can download his song. Ooh, permission. I'm gonna have for to do free. that. Yeah, I did. That's why I play it. <laughs> so you have all the information you need. We're gonna close out, but we're gonna continue playing music for you, and we're gonna chat with some of our. Well, I'm gonna chat with some of our listeners. And I'm so glad everyone tuned in. Berries. Oh my gosh. Yay. Yay. So good to see back. you again. And Sweet Green Eyes, we're always glad to have you. And Austin 7. And Wandering Biker's not here tonight. And that's because he's got his new sleigh that recently moved in with him. Oh, do <clears> tell. <throat> oh, yeah. She's, she's really beautiful. And so they've been a little busy. They went to um, Kink Fest up in Portland. And oh, we might have to pick his brain about that. Oh, yeah. Well, if we can catch him, he's in and out, in and out, but not really there much. You know, get a new slave and forget all about us. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be back. He'll be back. So we're going to close out. We're going to continue playing the music, and we're going to visit with everyone. I'm so glad you tuned in. Tune in next week. Find out what is abnormal and what is not. And who's the judge? We'll be the judge. Okay. Yes, we'll be the judge. Have a great weekend, everyone. Enjoy the warmer weather for those of you that love it. I'm waiting for winter again. Seems like it's here and it goes and you have to wait forever for it to come back. Have a good night. Good night. <laughs>